Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system. In this uh, video tutorial I'm going to show you uh, users controller and uh, as well as the student controllers. So in the, stud uh, in the users controller you know that uh, all the users uh, logged in uh, by the user controllers uh, uh, interface. So it's a private read only I account service is the dependency injection to inject uh, i account service at here oops not the service is the i account service okay so uh, that library is actually exist in online examination system dot bll dot services and uh, i account service so just initialize in the constructor you know variable and after that you know that uh, the all users uh, will show at here so just use indexing so paging uh, is enabled at here so integer page number equals to 1 and the integer page size is 10 and uh, return view what is this account service uh, dot get all teachers okay so page number as well as the page size so that is the uh, index method the second one method is related to the uh, i account uh, so i action method I action uh, result and create new teacher you can say so just return view and in the post action method you have to add something like that in the post method http post and in the create section you can pass a user view controller so user view model so user view model okay and uh, user view model okay and if so that uh, model state dot is valid if a model state is valid then uh, you have to uh, register your new user in the form of teacher so account service dot add teacher and uh, you can pass at here user view model okay and return uh, redirect to action and in which you can pass index action method okay that's fine now after that uh, if model state is not valid then just return the user view model simply okay uh, and after that new controller create a new controller that is the a student related so student controller students controller and in the students controller you can see uh, private read only i student service the the same library exist in the BLL uh, project so student service okay uh, underscore student service and first of all uh, add another library for the students controller so related to the exam because the student uh, attend an exam so student service is uh, use exam service also oops underscore exam service Okay, and the uh, next one is read only. Question answer is also uh, mentioned at here. So first of all, resolve the namespace related to the libraries that like online examination system dot bll dot services, i q n a service and q n a service is implemented at here, and initialize these services in the constructor. So just use generate constructor. Okay okay that's fine now the next thing is to do at here uh, that is the index action method so paging is uh, enabled at here so page number and the page size is mentioned in the index action method as usual you know uh, similarly in the previous uh, few before few seconds okay so return view student services dot get all page number as well as the page size okay and uh, that is the 
related to the student so where get all the students because the student services uh, access that here the next uh, method is related to the i action result create a new student so return view okay and in the post action method you can pass student view model http post so just you can pass at here asynchronous also task type okay and in the create action method you have to pass student of view model okay student view model you know in the past action uh, method you have to add just call the add method first of all check the model state uh, if model state is dot is valid if uh, the model state is valid then add a new student in the list so await underscore student service dot add async and in which you can pass student view model okay a return a redirect to action and the action method is going to the index action method name of index you can say also you can apply that here index that's fine if model state is not valid then simply pass the student view model as well so that at the uh, by using this method you have to add a new student in the list okay the next thing uh, to add in the in the controller that is related to the student but related to the exam so the first method is attend exam if student is attend exam on the basis of the scheduling so first of all a model that is attend exam view model create a new uh, object for the attend exam view model login view model is also mentioned if student is uh, logged in then student can attend the exam so login view model http context dot get a session by using session dot get extension method a login view model okay in the login vm okay and uh, the next thing uh, by using this you can get uh, the login details of the session if it is not then return to the uh, login screen if session oops actually it's not a login view model it's a session object so just replace the name login view model instead of uh, sorry instead of session view object you can replace that with the login view model so just replace the login view model with the session object so session object is not null i mean to say that a user in the session so after that the session you get the informations from the session of uh, related to the uh, uh, user so model dot student id is convert dot to integer 32 session object dot id model dot and where is the model that is the attend exam view model so question answer is there so q and as equals to new list of q and as view model so you have to check that attend exam view model so just uh, by using this you can clear all these things related to the models so today exam so exam service by using that uh, exam service dot get all exams dot where uh, first of all mention the date that is related to the today so start date is today a dot start date dot date is double equals to date time dot 
टुडे ओके टुडे डॉट डेट एंड डॉट फर्स्ट और डिफॉल्ट सो टुडे एग्जाम इज डबल इक्वल्स टू नल आई मीन टू से दैट देर इज नो एग्जाम इन द टुडे सो मॉडल डॉट मैसेज दैट इज नो एग्जाम टुडे स्केड्यूल टुडे ओके एंड एल्स इफ एग्जाम टुडे एग्जाम इज नॉट नल देन यूजर कैन अटेंड द एग्जाम और यू कैन से दैट स्टूडेंट कैन अटेंड द एग्जाम also you have to check uh, if q and answer uh, q and a service is attend uh, is at, is exam attend boolean variable today you can pass that uh, date dot to, uh, today exam dot id and uh, model dot that is written the boolean value model dot student id okay who attend the exam today you can say so model dot q and a sir q and a s question answers is q and a service dot get all q and a by exam that is the ex today exam dot id dot to list and model dot exam name equals to today exam dot title model dot uh, message is what further i will uh, think about it what message uh, i should write it here so model dot message that you have already attended the exam if the value is uh, return in the else condition so model dot message that you have already attend this exams if user can attend the exam return view model uh, okay that's fine so attend exam mm, in just after that if session object is not equals to null i mean to say that null then return redirect to action that is in the form of login because user is not in the session so redirect to action and login guys please uh, share this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to sp.net core and online examination system and will help you related to the exam uh, examination system and if you if you want to learn many more things about the sp.net core so please comment it and uh, uh if you like this video please uh, share this and like this thank you very much